Hello friends, welcome to Let's Tute. In today's session, we are going to solve a few questions based on first chapter of class 10, exercise 1.1 that is on real numbers. Friends, before solving any question, first we have to understand the question properly. So, by keeping this point in mind, let's start with our first question. By using Euclid division algorithm, find the HCF of the given numbers. Friends, we can find the HCF of these numbers by using various methods. But according to the question, here we have to use Euclid division algorithm. Now, let's understand in brief what exactly Euclid division algorithm means. In the Euclid division algorithm, we can write dividend equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. There is one condition for this, that is, the remainder will always be 0 or greater than 0 and will always be smaller than the divisor. We can write this formula in this way. Here, A is a dividend, B is a divisor, Q is a quotient and R is the remainder. Friends, to understand this in more detail, I would request you to visit our YouTube channel and watch our chapter-wise concept-based videos. And don't forget to subscribe our channel. Also, you can visit our website where you will get a complete course for CBSE with more than 500 MCQs which will help you in your board exams, especially for objective type questions. Friends, now let's look at the first pair of numbers, that is 135 and 225. This number is smaller than this one. Let us write this in the division format. Now, 135 by 1 is equal to 135. On subtracting this, we will get 90, which is smaller than 135. Now here, our first step is completed. It means that we can write 225 equal to 135 into 1 plus 90. Now we will consider the remaining remainder that is 90 as a divisor and 135 as a dividend. Let's move on to the second step. Here we have 1 and here we have 90. Now we got the remainder as 45. That means we can write 135 in this way. And now the second step is also completed. This process has to be repeated till we get 0 in the remainder. So we have not yet got 0 in the remainder. Right now it's 45, assuming 90 as a dividend, we will write it this way, 45 multiplied by 2 which will be 90 and we can write 2 here and 90 here. And now we got the remainder 0, that is the third and last step in which we can write 90 equal to 45 multiplied by 2 plus 0. According to the question, we have to find the HCF of both these numbers, that is 135 and 225. So how do we do that? Friends, let's see the last step or step after which we get the remainder 0, then the same divisor will be the HCF of those two numbers, that is the highest common factor. Here, the divisor is 45, so in this way, we get the HCF of these numbers, that is 135 and 225 is 45. Here, you can verify your answer by using the method as shown on the screen. Friends, what do you think? What would be the name of this method? Please write your answer in the comment box. Let's move on to the next question. Friends, here you can see that the number is quite big. But this is also very easy to solve. Well, we can see here, this one is smaller. So let's take 196 as a divisor and this one as a dividend. 
and let us write it in this way. Now, first we will take these three digits and here 196 multiplied by 1 will be 196. On subtracting, we will get 186. Now, we will write this 2 here. Next, 196 multiplied by 9 will give this number. On subtracting, we will get 98. Now, we will take this 0 here. And 196 multiplied by 5 will give 980. And we will get the remainder as 0. Friends, here you can see that we got the remainder 0 in one step itself. So, we can write 38,220 as 196 into 195 plus 0. So, the HCF of these two numbers will be 196. Friends, as shown here, you can verify your answer by using the factorization method. But you can observe here that we got the HCF of these numbers very easily and hence Euclid division algorithm came into picture. So here we can see that this method is suitable to find the HCF of large numbers. Now let's look at these numbers. This number is greater than this one. So take this as a divisor and this one as a dividend and we will write it in this way. And repeat the same process till you get the remainder as 0. Friends, you may pause the video and try to solve it yourself. From here, you can verify your solution as well as steps. Friends, sometimes we get confused while writing the correct terms in the formula, especially for the terms like dividend and divisor. Let me tell you one very simple trick to remember this. As you can see here, dividend has more letters than divisor therefore the dividend will always be greater than divisor friends please note that it is not a mathematical rule but it is just a trick to remember the terms properly we can remember the formula by using these letters as shown here we will write a equal to b multiplied by q and plus r from which we will get this formula. That's it for today's session. In the next session, we are going to solve a few more questions based from the same exercise. I hope you guys have enjoyed this session. Do like this video and comment down any queries that you have. Don't forget to hit the bell icon and never miss another update from Let's Tute. Thank you.